nerds, as you can see, I am in a whole new location. I literally just recently moved, maybe two days ago, so it's been a hot minute. <laughs> it is August 4th. I haven't filmed any videos since MegaCon. And I also haven't put up any MegaCon videos as of today, and I'm sorry. Things have been absolutely hectic. I'm gonna be getting a couple days off within the next couple of weeks, so I'm gonna try and go through everything like crazy just to try and catch myself up, because I'm doing the haul video on August, and Megacon was in May, so that will tell you just how hectic things have been for the past couple of months. So, let's go ahead and, and do the haul and recap. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the recap real fast. Megacon was absolutely awesome. I have so many, like, fond memories of Megacon every single year, and this year was just super awesome. Like, we got to hang out with um, Jazz Kathleen Carson, and then Zaranda Artie David. Is there anything that anybody else that I'm missing? And then, like, anybody else that we kind of briefly saw, like, I saw one of my college friends, Jamie, and uh, I think that's it. <laughs> it's been hectic, and I don't remember too much of Megacon like specifically, and I really should have filmed this sooner, but right after Megacon, I had to go back home to do like a dentist appointment, and then I had a family vacation for 10 days, for the first 10 days of June, and then right after that, it just, everything kind of slammed at work. So, I'm sorry, but we're here now, and Megacon was absolutely amazing. Like I said, I got to hang out with a whole bunch of people, and we had a really good time, and if you did see the hashtag, the Out of Context Megacon tweets for 2018 this year, it was absolutely lit. We got so many good things, and... There's so many jokes that are still running. I think hello between all of us is still running, so... But that's just like... Ooh, culture going on right now, but like... And also another thing with having to make videos, because this is my back and forth going on... The... Me being able to make videos was something that I couldn't do because I kept working at night and I couldn't wake any of my other roommates up with filming and stuff, so I couldn't film at night, but now that I'm in an apartment and currently nobody else is in said apartment and I'm not waking anybody up except for maybe my neighbors below. Oops. I am finally doing a haul and recap. So, things are getting back on track, and yeah. So going back to the topic of Megacon, Megacon was absolutely awesome, we had such a great time, and like I said, all the running jokes are still kind of going, and as for like staff interactions, we had a lot better interactions this year, like I think me, Artie, and Saranda were all talking about like all the positive interactions we've had and like how weird it was compared to like all the previous years because we kept having like such bad staff interactions so I think they finally got everything together and location wise it was good it wasn't like a super like there was a lot of places we could go photograph and uh, there is a video I filmed because there's footage of kind of behind the scenes of me going to uh, like a back area and filming a dance cover that'll be coming soon. If it's not out already, then if it is, then the link will be in the description if you want to go watch that. And I don't 
and MegaCon was super great and I'm super excited for next year as always because I always look forward to MegaCon next year. I think we were talking, I think we even like we're making plans for cosplays that we're doing next year. Just like we're, we're so extra, all of us. But okay, I'm gonna finally get into the hall because this is probably gonna take a while. <laughs> There's so much like on the bed. Ah, Jimmy. There's so much on the bed like that you can see and it's kind of why like I haven't put anything up on the walls yet as much as I've wanted to. I've wanted to redecorate everything, but I can't because all of my posters are like all around the place and I've been wanting to put them up. So, and I also can't do it because some of my other furniture here that's going to be covering up some of the walls, kind of, sort of, covering up some space at least, I need to know just how much space I'm going to have. So. So, here's what we're doing. We're gonna go through and we are going to go ahead and do the haul. So, I'm going to actually start off with these sellers that I don't know who they were. I, re I want to apologize to any of the artists and sellers that I came across that I got stuff from that either I lost the card or I had written down which ones they were and I lost it. Anyway, I just, I lost the information and I'm sorry. So, here we go. Alright, so, wait, what? Okay, we'll start with this because this was only, like, this was the only thing I think I got from an actual, like, dealer. But we got a Chica charm and it's good because her birth, because Chica's birthday was August 1st, so only three days ago. Because it's August 4th. And I got a little Victor charm, which is super cute. I can't wait to eventually have eat a bag of all the things, because that's another thing, is Chica will probably be going on an eat a bag for Chica that I've been planning for a long time. And what else? Okay. So let's go with this, because... Okay. This pin I have to kind of explain because my cousin Miles, I love him and he has a, a love for Danny DeVito that I cannot explain, but you know, who really needs to explain love for Danny DeVito? Uh, we got this one and I know it's a quote from a show, can't remember the show though. But can I offer you an egg in this trying time? It's Danny DeVito. And I got an Eliza. Excuse my horrible singing. From Hamilton. I also apologize for my dirty nails. That's gross. And one of the other things I got was a sticker set from the same artist. I got a sticker set and then I got a couple of other like ran random stickers. I got a Yikes sticker from this person for Jazz and then I got this one and it was for somebody but we don't talk it we don't really talk much anymore so it's for me now. Like, and I'm gonna say that I got a lot of no-face things and I got them for that specific person, but I don't want to give them gifts anymore. <laughs> and that's the tea. So continuing, there is consider the coconut. And that was the other thing about, like, this. that was the funny story about this whole sticker set was that I wanted to just get the consider the coconut one, but I had to get the whole sticker set, but I'm not mad because it's all Moana themed. I got a little Pua. I got Baby Moana. 
And then Grown Up Moana. She's super cute. I know these I got from a seller that, from an artist that I got, um, cause you'll see I have this Victor one. I got the C, I got it from the same artist that I got this Victor sticker at as a present, I think from Artie last year, but I got the other Victor as a pin this year. I got my three best Utano Prince Sama boys. Ah. Ren. Ren being the first. Well, one of them. If I'm going like last, if I'm going in like my three, it's like from three to one. So, then, show. And Itoki. Otoya. It's very cute. My sunshine boy who never did any wrong. Another thing that I got from a booth that I know that Jazz told me about, I got a little pan flag. For obvious reasons that should be obvious. Again, this is another one of the artists that like we get pretty frequently from. Uh, I got one of her manga buttons for Inuyasha because we were doing Inukag that weekend, so like obviously. And then I got this one that is Rose Diamond. Oops. <laughs> I should preface that with Steven Universe spoilers. <laughs> Oops. One of the other... Now everything else that I'm about to... Oh wait, no, 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 this one first. Okay, so this one is a Your Name print that I, again, I think I had the card or I took a picture of it and I don't remember if I find it, I'll put the information in. If not, then again, I'm sorry, but like, look at this. Look at this, this is so gorgeous and like, in like if you like one of my favorite things is that like if you look in here where is it if I look in no it's all the way down here if you look here you can kind of see him over here so you can see him over here and the reflection over there and then you can see her over here so you can see her over here and like I love it because it kind of crosses over. It's so good. For anybody that hasn't seen your name, please watch the movie. It's amazing. Now we can get into like the rest of this because this is... If there's one thing that I got, I can say that for sure I got the most merch of this weekend. This weekend. Megacon weekend. It would be... BTS merch and literally no one that knows me is surprised because there's this that I got from one and all of this and also these so I want y'all to take a guess as to who my best uh, BTS boy is, cause I think it's easy to figure out. Okay, so two of these are from separate pla- and these are all, three of them are kind of from separate places. So I'll go from like the stuff they had the least stuff to the most stuff of. And also like one of the boosts I got some other anime related things, so I'll stop at that one. So, I got a sticker sheet of Jimin, and I don't, I think I'm just gonna kind of like cut them out into like little cards and then post, like, do a whole freaking collage of Jimin on my wall. <laughs> I got one. Two, three, four poster 
letters of Jamie at this one and then at a separate separate? I think this is yeah, this was a separate kick off booth. I got has nothing to do with BTS, but more like Korean like K-pop culture is the little finger heart. I got no jams and anyone who knows BTS and like as well as I do will know what that kind of means. It's kind of like an inside joke because one of the members said to Jamie, my favorite member, so my bias record said to my bias, uh, Jimin, you got no jams. And it's just one of the BTS memes and I had to because no jams. Then I got the little BTS symbol on a pin. And I got Jimmy on a little button. And I also got him on an even bigger button because I have zero self-control and I love pins and then I got a BTS face mask and I think I showed a picture of this um, on Twitter but yes perfect and, like the thing is that I've been wanting a face mask for a long time but I could never figure out like what kind of face I wanted or like what face mask that I should get. But now I have like a legitimate face mask that I would wear. So. Oh. One other thing I forgot to show was the Megacon wristband and I kind of cut that off. But... Alright, going back. I got another face mask at a different K-pop booth. This one that I got all the other stuff at. This one's tighter, the other one was looser, but it's Jimmy. He's so cute. Like, and like both of these are face masks that I will wear. So, like I got Jimmy. <sighs> because Jimmy. And then for posters. I got one, two, three, and then I got a whole bunch of little things. I got one card, two, three, Four. And then, to some people's surprise, I got Min Yoongi. But like, I had to because it was the mic drop and he looks so good. Like, how could I not? Alright, and then here's another funny story. So they had these little 50 cent uh, or was it a quarter? No. These little 25 cent section and it had a whole bunch of like little stickers and stuff. So I literally went in and just bought everything that was dreaming that was there and it was I think Sunday. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, bam. And I think that's all the Jimin stuff. I promise. I think. Wait, I lied. There's one more thing. But that's because, like, I got it in the same booth. So I got all stuff with the BTS stuff so that everybody can stop being annoyed at me for being 
BTS ARMY and then just being annoyed with me for being a weeb. So I got a little ARMY button and I got a Jimmy button. And then back to the anime stuff. Back to your regularly, regularly scheduled weeb. I got a salt tea from do da 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 button. I got a Haruhi button and a Maka button. And I needed a new wallet, so I got Victor because both the front and the back are gorgeous and I needed a new wallet anyway, so I got a wallet. Okay, so this I all I got all from the same booth from Crafty Weavers. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and like I said, all the links will be in the description, but they had something that I haven't seen anyone sell, which is a silent voice merch. And a silent voice is an animated an animated movie that came out a while ago. I want to say not too long after your name came out, but it didn't get as popular. But, um, super amazing movie, but I got two little pins from the two main characters, and they're super adorable, and I love them a lot. So, I'm very excited to have merchandise of them. And then, I got these little no face earrings with hearts and they're super and they're kind of sparkly I don't know if you'll be able to see that well the camera will pick it the camera will stop there we go you can kind of see they're very sparkly and they're very cute the little no face is giving hearts and like I said they're for me now and these are supposed to be a gift for Miles if his ears are pierced. I don't remember if they are, but if they're not, then I'm sorry, Miles, but you can like display them or something or whatever. But I got him some little dangly arming earrings because he looks so sad. Like he's crying like he's like me she's a little crazy I love our man he's good and moving right along I got this is stuff I got from Jalen paper company I had to check on the name for a second but their card is super cute and their merchandise is also super cute I got a uh, this one was one of the ones that got discontinued. I got discontinued art, so it was like cheaper, but like it's disgust. It's a little bookmark, and I love disgust. Like I have a little plush for. Oh, you can't really see her, but I have disgust as a plush, so now I have her as a bookmark too. And she'll be very excited to have another one of her around, or disgusted that there's two of her. <laughs> but. I also got these, and you already saw these because I, you saw Jazz's reaction to getting the Mbaku sticker, and we divided these up. I forget who we were giving what to. We'll have to re-divide it, but I think I was getting Okoye, Shuri, I don't remember who else I was getting. I think I was getting regular T'Challa and she was getting Black Panther T'Challa and then from there like I don't think they cared but like these are so cute and then I got a Endymion and uh, Princess Serenity Queen Serenity sticker and it's very cute now, uh, 
this one I don't have a card for him but I do have his Instagram and I've been following him for a while and uh, so his name is Joey Quinton um, he makes all of these uh, like Disney pins and he's very famous for like his dapper day Disney pins and I just am I'm like I love now I got the Little Mermaid one just because like I live and like honestly I was like kind of expecting some other things or like I I don't know I didn't kind of feel I wasn't feeling something but like Little Mermaid because I need more merchandise for Little Mermaid as much as I think I support as much as I feel like I support them with all my heart I just I'm like I need more and then this seller was star in my pocket and I have the card kind of in the back so I know I'm showing this little janky like but so star in my pocket and I bought from them several times and they were doing a deal with Prince so obviously I had to I had zero self-control this convention let's be real here but are we surprised no but I got three different prints one of them was this beautiful Victor one, like I had to. Like would I not be me if I didn't get that print though? I got this one, uh, Ryuko, and I just recently watched, rewatched Kill the Kill. So like the obsession has kind of come back for it. And I got a beautiful print that I have been eyeing forever of Princess Jellyfish of Tsukimi and Kurunosuke and like look how beautiful like they even have little jellyfish I forget her name oh my goodness but I got the print like one of the best oh, I love it so much okay and then okay this was another one that whoops I forgot to but I have a miraculous print of hers and I love it a lot. But I got this one that she did at Belle and look! She's so cute! Like, it looks like me? Cause Belle is me? No? <laughs> yes? And let's see. Okay, so this is from Rachel and Ward Art. I don't know if she has a... Instagram or something or a website but I don't want to open it until I had shown that so but I got Pearl Smoky Oh no are they stuck? No they're just very put together. Okay. Connie these are very well-made stickers too, I must say. Like, they're very, like, pla like, they're kind of feel like plastic. Steven. Garnet. And Stevani. All of my faves. And I think I was planning on giving the pearl to Miles, so because like Miles is due a lot of presents so I think I was getting Miles like a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, this one is from Zoe Masters. This is her card. And here's the back. Now I got this print and like I saw it and I don't remember who said it but somebody turned to me and was like, hey, I, I just like I don't want I didn't want to warn you but like I wanted to warn you but like there's a mirror shot print and I like whipped around from the booth they were at and I beelined for this because look look at it look at how cute oh my god mirror shot is my favorite miraculous ship that's not Lady Noir. Like, if I had to pick another one, it would be Marisha, because... Have you read the fan fiction? <laughs> okay, so... This... stuff... 
is from Blue Libby. Here is her little card. It's a very cute cat in space. I got Chica and her Koini Narita, I think this is. Yeah, it's Koini Narita. And then I got because oh wait, I lied. The BTS stuff isn't over. We're we're back to it for real quick, but I got a little Jimin in his dope era, and I got a keychain of Jimin and Shimmy, and like one side is like this, the kind of like sticker part, and then the front is like the plastic, and it's very well made, and it's very cute, and I was like, little baby love him so much. Okay, and, okay. So this one, I got a whole bunch of Disney stuff because I've been working at Disney and I haven't, uh, I haven't bought a lot of Disney stuff. Well, that's a lie. I've gotten a lot of Disney stuff. I haven't gotten a lot of Disney fan art stuff, but this booth was like kind of specializing in it. So I got from Might and Mighty Pigeon. I got, this one isn't Disney, but, um... Disney related. It is Stranger Things and Disney. Like it's an up, it's an upside down world. And like I love that Mickey's done that he's down here. Like this is like such cool. Like, so cool. I got this print for Coco for seize your moment and that's all I'm gonna say. No spoilers for Coco, but if you haven't seen it, like, go see it. I got... So that we're moving on to, like, other Disney-related things. I got non-Disney-related things, I meant, so that we can focus on the Disney-related things. Yeah. So I got this little axolotl. He's very cute. And then I got these two Disney prints. One of Belle, one of Elsa. Both characters whom I love that I am, and more me. I got Ariel pin, and I got a Judy Hops pin. I also got little baby Moana, and I got the Dizzy Castle kind of floating like up on Mickey shaped balloons and I really loved this sticker. It just it was so creative and I loved it. This sticker I have but I probably am gonna put it somewhere else other than on my wall because I think the one that I have I'm putting on my wall. But I got this as a gift from Artie. So I'm probably gonna find something like to put uh, her on, but I got another ladybug sticker, and I'm very happy because you can never have too much ladybug in your life. Oh, and I should say that the seller, I should say the seller is Kaze Illustrations. I've got from them a lot. Uh, here's all their stuff. And I got, keeping up with the da -da 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 theme, got another Celti, and keeping up with the Inuyasha theme, I got a little Inuyasha. I don't think she has Kagome, but where she did, I got her during this time. I don't think she had Kagome, though. But I went back, and I got more stuff. Ugh, it would all release at once. That's what she said. I got Yuri. I got Jushimatsu. I got Sugar. Not BTS Sugar though. Thank you, Sugar. I got Ichimatsu. I got Tamaki. For Miles again. I got Kaoru. And I got Haruhi. And I got this one, and I think this one was like the best thing because we were keeping up with the hello trend the whole weekend. I got this one that says, Don't hello me if you don't know me. And 
Paradise had a cool story, but like I'd tell the story, but it's not my story to tell. Okay, in this one I don't have a card for them, but I do remember that the seller was just shiny things and I've been wanting to get from them for a while because they have these really awesome buttons that I have now, but I still need to get more. I got this pan heart. I got a Ravenclaw pin. I got a Water Tribe pin. I got a Sailor Moon uh, Senshi outfit pin. And a Sam for Jacksepticeye pin. And... Keep going. Okay. So all of this is from Brie Art, and again, I've been wanting to get from them for a while, so this is pretty much just Marissa Maya buys from all the sellers she's been wanting to for a very long time. I got a Levy Honey Lemon Oof. and Ciel pans. And I got a whole bunch of prints. So I got these three prints that I love, and again, I need to buy more prints from them. But I got this one of Howlin' Sophie. I got this one of Steven and Rose. And this one of Belle. Again, all oh, I really freaking love. And then this one. I got a whole bunch of posters from them because they were doing a deal and obviously I had to. But here's their card. It's Radiant Gray. A couple posters from them. I got one of my favorite ones was the Steven Universe one. It's just like we and it's all of the original crystal gems. I got this one of Blake from Ruby. I got this one, which I also really loved. I saw this one from a distance and I was like, I have to because it's Victory plus Monka Jean. Look at how cute Monka Jean is. Like, I need to focus on the dog. And then I got this awesome one of Hell's Moving Castle. Like, it's so anime, so anime esque. I love it a lot. And moving right on to this one. So this is Taylor Pitts. All of everyone that was there with me will tell you how hard I had a time of choosing between some of the prints that they had. I got a Square Mom. I got Chanoir. I got Ciel and Sebastian, and I got 707, Cyan himself, and I had these two prints, and I had such a hard time choosing, but I ended up with these two because Haruhi I had to get because she was gorgeous, and she's behind a rainbow, and she has a whole bouquet of red roses, and a flower crown of all the colored roses which I was like, that's like details. Details. I'm a sucker for details. So if you're ever an artist in Florida and you sell things that have like all those hidden details, like I will probably buy from you. And then this one is a Arnett one and she looked like she was going to like, she was like thinking about Adrian and talking to him on the phone. And she has the ice cream and She's just, she's, she's so cute. Look at her like a little blushy face. I love her a lot. And... Okay. Moving along to these. I have a couple things in here. One of them is a present for Artie that I have yet to give him. But, yeah. But, okay, so this is... 
a little one that I saw of Yuri and Victor and Makachin and they're getting married so I'm very happy and then there's also in the same Yuri and Ice stuff I got the Victor one, Makachin's in there and I got this Katang art because I had to and again I bought from this artist before but I also got and this is Artie's present so Artie is getting this little Kristana print it's very cute and I got again I've been wanting to buy these prints from this artist for a while but it is a Yuri on Ice print like there is there there he is um, oh, I forgot to show the card. Well, I'm blanking. But it's uh, Lisa Villia. Here is her card. Very tiny information. But the front is Harry Potter. Very cute. But so here's the print. It's that Victor. And you can kind of see Harry in the back. And then I got. The Beauty and the Beast says, Jail is all this time, song is all this rhyme. Beauty and the Beast. This one, I got a whole bunch of stuff from. So, this is kind of like combined, I guess. So, this is from Artificial Strawberry and Graffiti to My Heart's Creations. Okay stack both of them on top. So, an official strawberry and graffiti to my heart's creations. I got some stickers and some badges. So, let me go through the stickers first. For, again, Miles. I got a little Armin. I, and then the rest of it, I think is for me. So I got a Judy. I got a Mikasa. I got a Suyu. And I got Trico. And then for the badges, I got Gamora. I got Victor, and I got the ship, Ratsuhaida, two of my themes. Oh, that was another, that was another thing I forgot from, uh, the Crafty Viewers, the one that did all the little pins and earrings and stuff. These guys? Yeah, they did, they had... Uh, Retsu Haider, they had Retsuko, like, something, and I need to go back and order from them because they had, like, a Retsuko thing, and I wanted it, but they didn't have it anymore. It, or, like, it was the one that they had was set aside for somebody else, and I was like, oh my god, I need it. That's me reminding myself that I need to do that. And finally, from... This artist, okay, so Thea Carmen, or there's a, two different cards that I put in the same place, I don't know, but I think it was this, Fall Out of the Rock, but then also this card was in there too, so I'll show this one as well, but from this artist, I had seen their art of, like, some of the characters, and I ended up getting 707 the next day, but they, we were talking about Mystic Messenger, and she just goes, or I should say they, because I don't know their gender, but uh, they, they go, hey, um, because we were, I was talking about how NC707 and Zen is my ultimate OG3, and how, like, if everything could just be the three of them, it would be perfect, and we're, you know, just could be just one big polyamorous thing, it would be great. 
but I but like I was talking about you know Zen and 707 and how I love them both so much and being like an MC that I love both of them they were like oh well hey I had this commission that I messed up that it was supposed to be seven hugging Saren or saying hum hugging Saren and I heard Zen and Sayang. So this print was born and I got it for free and honestly it's my favorite thing because my two favorite boys love each other very much. I love Zen and Seven a lot so having this print means everything to me because my boys love I love my boys. I love Mystic Messenger a lot. Okay, so I think I've done everything. So that is it. Uh, thank you guys so much for staying through the haul and, and recap. I know it's been a little long. Um, thank you guys for sewing through. Thank you guys for your patience. And I will hopefully be talking to you guys soon. Uh, I know I have a couple of video ideas here in the works. Now that some anime has come out, a reaction video to a certain third season of one of my favorite sports animes, Pet Free, will be coming soon, probably with another person that I have in mind, and I'm very excited to do it. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!